everyone. It's Vicki here, um, again, the Education Coordinator at the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame, um, showing you some experiments on how uh, STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, really correlates to sport. So this one's a really interesting one. And um, when I was reading about it, I was really intrigued at how this could possibly show the relationship. So what I have here, it's pretty simple. I have like a, a pop, empty uh, two liter pop bottle um, filled with water. Now, the one thing you wanna make sure to do with this is make sure that it's filled all the way to the top, okay? So I'm just gonna add a little bit. And I've got some marbles. And it's pretty simple what I'm gonna do. I've got six marbles, we're gonna try this six times. And I'm gonna simply drop the marble into the pop bottle so you can see what happens. Now I'll try and move it as close as I can to the camera so you guys can watch and you can see hopefully what is happening to the marble. Okay, are you ready? Let's drop one in right from the top and see what happens. You see what happened there? Okay, kind of moved a little bit that way, but not too much. We're gonna keep doing that, but we wanna make sure that our pop bottle is always filled with water. We're gonna make sure all any water that kind of dripped out is wiped off because we want every time we drop this marble to see what happens. So it's a great idea if you're doing this at home to actually make a little chart for yourself and say, okay, marble one, what happened? Well, it veered to the, to the right a little bit, okay? Or to the left or went straight down. Or what happened to the marble when I dropped it? But again, we wanna make sure the conditions are always the same. So if any water comes out, we wanna add it back in. Now ours didn't, ours is good. Okay, so we're gonna do another one. Watch this one. Hmm. It kind of went the same direction. Okay. Let's see if we drop another one. And again, my water level is good. Try and always drop it the same way same height. Go. Okay, that veered a little bit more that way. Let's try another one. I'm just going to wipe it up a little bit. I see water dripping. Okay, so I'm going to add a little more water because I see we've lost a little bit, but not very much. Making sure. Whoop! Now we got way too much, but that's okay. As long as it's not... Affecting the top. The top is about the same. Okay, here we go. Third marble. That was more straight down, wasn't it? Sorry, that was a fourth marble. Here's the fifth marble. That one dropped this way a little bit. And one more. Okay, that one was a little straight too. So, was there any one way that the marble dropped? We didn't know how that marble was going to move, right? Well, as it moves through the water, it is kind of like a baseball going through air, okay? So there's resistance, there's paths that it can take. So we didn't know what was going to happen with this marble. Same thing when a pitcher throws a pitch called a knuckleball. Now what a knuckleball is, is, um, a pitch that is thrown so that when it moves, it doesn't have any spin on it whatsoever. It's totally, totally just um, flat, if you want to call it. So it doesn't have any spin. Most um, pitchers want to do like a curve ball, so the ball is going to curve. They, they have different spins that they put on it. When I drop these, I drop them with no spin whatsoever, straight down, and you could see that who knows what happens, right? So that's kind of like a knuckleball. Pitcher doesn't know what's gonna happen. So a knuckleball is really, really hard to hit, throw, first of all, but it's even harder for the batter to hit it because they don't know where it's gonna end up. There's not many um, people in Major League Baseball that throw a knuckleball anymore because it is so hard to throw and uh, very unpredictable. So it's the path that uh, it takes through the air, if it's released at the right way, where it doesn't have any spin, then the air will make it go however, just like the water made the marble go 
however wanted to. So that is um, kind of a little bit of science to show how uh, things move through water, air. Uh, how are other balls going to be thrown? How do football players throw football? Uh, cricket pitchers, how do they make their balls go the way they want them to? So it's all about kind of aerodynamics and uh, how you want it to end up. So thanks for being with me today. Check back for more STEM experiments. Have a great day, everybody.